Peace, peace, y'all. Welcome to today's mathematics. What's your girl, Sunshine on the L? Today is 10 27 8. So, we're in the day of 2 7 on this third decade of the month. This is the decade of creation and rebirth. We're in our last few days of the energy of Isis as well. You know, Isis, Isis is bringing on that, um, that energy of, of being generous and humorous and learning and all that fun stuff like that. We're also, you know, we have entered the tropical energy of the snake, which is Scorpio energy. Um, you know, manipulation, conniving, but also being powerful and control, uh, in control in like a slick kind of way, if you will. And then we are in, um, but in our Vedic and our energy exchanges, we're still in that energy of the raven. So you're still going to have a lot of energy exchanges and experiences that help you find balance between your shadow side and your spiritual side. So be mindful of that with the Native American energy zone and alignment. All reflections of each other. It's just whatever culture you want to speak to in the midst of it, but. You know, I won't say it's all the same, but it's all the same. Uh, people be tr triggered by what they want to be triggered by. <laughs> but anyway, you know, let's get to it. So on the day of 2-7, we're finding uh, balance and wisdom, peace, harmony, justice, and truth with our seven. So it's a heavy Libra day. Just finding like a lot of balance here in your interpersonal relationships, your bonds, and your contracts. Y'all did so well during this decade. It's only righteous that y'all get like a nice little refresher, especially as we're in this quarter and we're coming into, you know, our crescent phase instead of the gibbous. You know, we're coming into the space where it's like, yeah, like how well have I been balancing my scales? How well have I been doing the interpersonal things how well have i been in alignment with my eye you know the internal god and all that fun stuff oh they got an outdoor kitchen that's fun Ooh, yeah like how well have you been doing it have you been enjoying yourself today can be a, a very isolating day for my sevens um but y'all need to learn how to find balance so somebody gonna try to pull y'all out of y'all show about some things and just learn how to just breathe through it and be cool with it because it's part of the game you know you can't be alone all the time you got all this intellect you gotta have it for something you know what i'm saying you just got it just be sitting around in it hashe, hashe. okay so you're gonna find balance in them sevens you're gonna find balance with that intellect and that energy with god and law justice and truth and it's ha beautiful that it's happened on this beautiful raw day you know what i'm saying um so as you find all of that is going to bring you to what you're going to give birth to once you come into this space of balance. You know, what are, what are you giving life to? What's being born from out of your space? Um, you know, nine is the number of completion, wholeness. Now we get into, uh, you know, the utopia and the philanthropic energy. You know what I'm saying? How you're giving back to the community and stuff. But remember, how you're giving back to the community and things like that. You got to be amongst the community to see what they need. You can't just separate yourself from the community and be like, well, I needed this. And then, like, come with the, the things that you need that's going to help you heal. Like, you can do that, but don't think that that's for the community. That's for you, baby. So, um, if you don't get received the way you want to, let's be realistic about why you didn't get received. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, keeping that in mind. So we come into this nine, you know what I'm saying? Wholeness, giving birth and stuff like that. Philanthropy and optimism and generosity. And we're just in our joy and we're in our sacral chakra and we love it here. And so, ooh, butterfly. And so once we do that, um, we're going to put it. Oh, what is that? We're going to put it with the Keters in our space because this is the month of 10. This is the month of, you know, knowledge and intellect, the divine air energy, the swords, you know, um, we're getting smart here. We love it here. Also taking like the cardinal action because one is also Aries, the gut that controls the mind. Everything starts with the thought. So it still brings us back to the intellect. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to put the nine into the one as knowledge being born on this day. We move in gratitude. You know, now we're having knowledge and awareness of the nine. You know what I'm saying? So you go from experiencing the nine to having awareness of the nine and acknowledgement of the nine so we play back and forth between the two you know what i'm saying so you go through it and then you be like oh that's what i went through okay and then we keep going to knowledge in our cipher now we're in the space of knowledge <laughs> and so with this knowledge this one this cutter energy this initiating energy we're going to bring that to the year of eight because everything we do we're bringing it to the year of conception what do you want to conceive this year you know what i'm saying like <sighs> i want to conceive things um, but, you know, make sure that you're putting your energy towards the things that you want to conceive because it matters. You know, if you got your energy all over the place and it's not focused, when we enter the year nine, what you receive is going to be all over the place, not focused. And you're going to realize first here, you can't be everywhere at one place. You can only be at one place on one place because you're in the physical body. You know, I mean, we have certain apparatuses that help us do certain things, but you can still only be in one place. <laughs> so keep that in mind while you out here manifesting and you keep erasing the board and going back over there and keep, like it's not about changing the destination sometimes sometimes it's just changing the route you know what i'm saying and a lot of y'all trying to have a whole bunch of destinations and a whole bunch of routes and it's like how you gonna do all that you know 
and we work on it. So, yeah, be mindful of what you're conceiving this year. High highs make low lows. The goal is to be the homeostasis in the middle. You know what I'm saying? That's that's the safest bet, you know, the remedy to all of that. Um, it also deals with Sebek energy. This is the celestial labelers, the technicians. Um, you know, this energy has been brought to us by Mayat being the wisdom in our cipher and the wisdom in our foundation. Two, zero, two, four, twos and fours deal with um, Mayat energy, whether it's the two or the scales, the numerology, or it's the four and the sephiros with Chesed. All is dealings in my eye, Ashe. So, um, now we, uh, you know, the celestial technicians is labeling and separating and realigning and tribing and, you know, transformation and building and destroying everything based upon my eye. And we're going to take our knowledge and put it there. And it's going to be a day of nine. Today's the day of being born. You know what I'm saying? What are you giving birth to today? What are you giving life to today? How balanced is it in your sevens? How much wisdom do you have in your sevens of weight? You know what I'm saying? So let's talk about what's astrologically, astronomically happening. So we start today off with a 24% wanted crescent moon. Moon rising at 2.33 a.m. and setting at 4.02 p.m. We're in the 12th house with it today, y'all. So we're in that house of, you know, un uncovering secrets and tapping into our Akashic records and um, hidden agendas and hidden dreams and secrets and the subconscious and the delusions that can be made and the manip manipulating energy. We also come into this space of isolation and solitude and alignment with the sevens, all that fun stuff. Tropically speaking, in our thought process, we're in Virgo. So it's time to organize that stuff. It's time to compartmentalize, you know, um, learn how to applicate it to your daily routine, especially in this decking of three. Um, in our energy exchanges, we are in Leo energy. So we're moving in confidence and courageousness. We're moving in dramatic and creativity. Um, because sidereal and constellation wise we're in leo our soul is also in leo too so that now we have our energy exchanges being in alignment with our spiritual self um while our mind is organizing it all all right sunrise at 7 23 a.m is setting at 602 p.m the epsilon geminids and leo minorities reached in their activity the asteroid ganymede at 10 36 a.m is at opposition of the pegasus constellation and today our fortune is in sagittarius in the second house so by being optimistic and having joy and all that fun stuff and your um and your list of priorities and stuff. I be telling y'all that if you don't find joy, if it's not speaking to your spirit, if it doesn't find to your electromagnetic field, to that space of abundance where things just start coming smooth and easy and loving and fun and stuff like that, then something's wrong. You gotta reconvene, come back to the drawing board, all that fun stuff. And that's what I got for you, Cocky. Nobody's reached out if you would like a personal astrology or numerology reading. Peace, peace.